one in 10,000. Because you don't have just one set of twins, you have two sets of twins, which is quite amazing. You have daughters that are 21, I believe? Yes, they are. And then you have twin boys that are 11. Yes. And you're still standing. God bless Barely, you. Barely, but yes. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. And Barbara, this is just no fertility drugs or anything. Just, is it in your family? It's just lucky. Well, now it is. Now, now it, it is, is for sure. Yeah. Careful. Oh, well, good for you. So you yeah. could use some money, right? I, I think so. There's braces and college and, you know, and Pokemon mm -hmm. toys and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. So we should get started. Mm -hmm. You know the rules and you know the lifelines. Are you ready to play? Absolutely. All right, let's. Go for a hundred dollars here, Barbara. Heart-shaped boxes of chocolates are traditionally given on what holiday? Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Internal Organ Day. <laughs> I would say Valentine's Day. I would say you're right. You have a hundred dollars. Go for two hundred here, Barbara. The name of a famous support group, AA, stands for Alcoholics What? Assistance, Association, Affiliation, Anonymous. Anonymous. Yes, you have it for $200. <laughs> so for 300 Barbara. A popular 1980s ad campaign featured the slogan, I've got the fever for the flavor of a what? Nutter Butter, Pringles, Snickers, Tostitos. I think I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, good question to ask them on. Audience, Barbara needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Sixty-two percent believe it is Pringles. Well, I think um, I'm going to go with them. <laughs> Look well fed, and Pringles would be great. <laughs> Final. Final. It is a well-fed audience, absolutely. Thank you you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Going for 500. In 2003, over 50 million Americans added their names to a well-publicized list aimed at curbing what? Telemarketing, identity theft, illegal immigration, public smoking. Telemarketing. Final answer. Was your name on that list? Absolutely. It was. Okay, you got it right for $500. <laughs> I'm going for a thousand, Barbara. The demand for colonoscopies jumped by 20% after what morning show host had one on air in 2000? Ann Curry, Katie Couric, Paula Zahn, Julie Chen. That would be Katie Couric. Katie's husband, Jay, died of colon cancer. She's made it her mission. She's done amazing things. You got it right for a thousand dollars. Barbara has a thousand. She's going for two thousand dollars. Pinhead, Candyman, Wishmaster. I think I know it. Okay. But I'm going to ask someone because I just really need to know that. And I'd like to call my husband, Keith, who does not have a ch chainsaw. Okay, yes. Okay, we're going to get Keith on the line. Hello? Hello, Keith. Yes. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. Hi, how you doing? Good. Say hi to Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hey, honey. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> Meredith will tell you. He, she's doing well. She has $4,000. Okay. She's going for $8,000, and she hopes that you know the answer to this question. All right, I'll try. Okay, Barbara, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Which of these grisly characters appears in the 1974 horror movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Leatherface, Pinhead, Candyman, or Wishmaster? Mm -hmm. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I think it's Leatherface. Yeah, I'm thinking that. You yeah, pretty sure about that? That sounds, uh, Sounds like, like something right. you never watched, but... Yeah. Okay, thank you, honey. Okay, well, I love you. we'll try that. Okay. Well... I guess I promised I wouldn't divorce him if he gave me the wrong answer. So we'll go with Leatherface. Final answer. Well, either way, you're not going to divorce him. He gave you the right answer, Barbara. You have $8,000. Barbara's going for $16,000 when we come back with more money. Barbara Noyes from Blow 
Roosevelt, New York, a police officer, a geologist, mother of two sets of twins. Your boys are young, 11 years old. Right. Did they give you any advice before you came here? They said, call them if I had any problems. And I said, no, you're going to be in school. <laughs> you have to be in school. But So they wanted to stay yeah. home. This was an excuse. They exactly. did. And any excuse. Even if I said, let's clean out the guinea pig cage, they would have been there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing something much more important here, Mom. You're going for $16,000. You're only seven away from a million. And you still have a lifeline left. You're a smart lady. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. All right, let's play. <laughs> $16,000, Barbara. The French phrase faux pas literally means what? Clumsy friend, bad form, false step, broken promise. I would say false step, final answer. Uh, how would they say this in French? Mais oui, madame, $16,000. Excellent. Gracias. Gracias? <laughs> oh, or merci. <laughs> Who cares? You're yeah, the right. the money. You say whatever you want. You're going for $32,000. In which of these card games do players usually try to get as few points as possible? Bridge, heart, gin, cribbage. Um, Remind you that you do have a 50-50. If you get it wrong, you go down to 1000 but I'm pretty sure that it's hearts. I'm going to go with hearts. Final answer. Pretty sure? Pretty sure? Am I sure? Am I sure? Okay. I'm very sure. You oh, have $32,000. Five questions away from a million dollars. New York, everyone. Bye-bye. Closed captioning sponsored by...